Let's get over to our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, as we do each and every Tuesday. And don't forget, Basil does an outstanding show here every trading day, 10 to 11 Eastern Standard Time. Also, it's a great newsletter, the opening call. Now, we got a great little surprise for you today. Uh, bottom line is that Basil is going to be doing a workshop for his subscribers from 4 to 5.30 today, right after the show. And it's very easy to be a subscriber to the opening call, folks. You just come over to our website at TFNN. You're going to see it right under the featured content. You hit the subscribe button. Bottom line is that you can... Where am I? There I am. You hit the subscribe button. You can get the daily uh, newsletter on a monthly basis for $149. You can get it on a six-month basis for $6.95, which is a savings of $199, or 22%. And you get it for one full year for $11.95, which is a savings of... $593 or 33%. They all come with a 30-day money-back guarantee. And, of course, Basil is going to be live from 4 to 5.30. We're going to talk to our man right now, and we'll find out exactly what he's going to be teaching. Basil Chapman, what's going on? Hi, Tom. How are you? I'm doing good, man. Yourself? I'm well, thank you. Good. Yeah, this is exciting because uh, I usually I like to time these uh, webinars. I don't have them very often through the year, but when I do, I like to time them when I'm looking at one particular sector starting to run out of energy and another one's taking over and yes. the same thing with stocks. So if you look at the Dow chart that I show right here, okay. it had a round number 41,376.00 round number all time high. Amazing that it could have that round number. That was a clue to say we should have a bit of a pullback. So we pull back and unlike some of the other indices, we haven't, we haven't added to this yet. We are long, but we, we haven't added to the long position. But we're rotating, and we've been very impressed with the IWM, the Russell 2000. So what I'm talking about is that in the Russell, there was this long base. And before it broke out, I drew all these patterns. I'll be discussing this afternoon. And then we, broke, we went along, and we broke out to the upside. But because there's a rotation going on, and uh, the semiconductors, the tech sector, they're just taking a well-earned breather. They were fantastic leaders, and they just need a timeout. Money always likes to flow where it's treated best. And I think that we're looking at certain areas that are right now acting very well. And in a sense, I don't really want to say the IWM has taken on a leadership role on a very short term over the past week. Certainly it has had the most spectacular gain last week, one of the best it's had in decades. But most importantly... I think that money's just starting to flow into this uh, small cap sector, and that's going to be very important. So we added to our position. It's doing very, you can see right here, it's doing very nicely. Yes. Even more important, look at that monthly chart. Look at that beautiful cup formation. And we've broken into rare earth territory because we haven't been in this area since back in mid-2021. So it's really important for the month to close out strongly. We'll see if that's going to happen. So what I've done, I've got uh, in my webinar that's coming up. So it's for subscribers. It's free to subscribers if you are a subscriber. And it's very easy to join. And uh, Tom just told you how to do that. Basically, we're called sectors and stocks to focus on in this next phase of the market cycle. I'll be going through the sectors. I I'm not going to spend too much time on what I think is weak and is taking a breather. I'm looking at what's exciting, where money seems to be flowing, what we have, certain patterns that we've been talking about for a while. You know, I spoke to you about the uh, stork leg formation. Yes. We did everything that we discussed. Yes, Microsoft, which we've been long since 338. It did this pattern where I drew it in with the leg, the body, the neck, and the beak. That's called the stork leg formation. Um, and it went right to the target between uh, 433 and 431. It went to a round number, like the Dow had a round number at its recent top. So Microsoft had a round number at this recent bottom, 432.00. That concluded the beak. And the rule of thumb for the Chapman Wave stalk leg formation is once the beak is concluded, there's usually a strong rally, and then you're on your own. So we've got this rally. We added to, to our position. We've got this very strong rally. Took some profits this morning. And what happens next is going to be important. We've got the same thing with core mining. It did exactly what we were talking about. We've been long. It broke out and a pullback to just under 605 for the beak. And it hit that level, and it's had a really good, strong rally. It's at 651 right now. There's a silver star. So these are the patterns we'll look at. 
and we'll also look at you know, in the rotational sector what is worth looking at even if they're at recent highs because if you look at some of the monthly charts some of these stocks that have had a good gain look even the iw uh, even the um what was i looking at yeah stocks like we don't have this right now but you look at stocks that was absolutely spectacular like uh, shopify 176 back in november of 2021 actually it's split but it was uh, a split is 176 went down to 23 and you can see it's had a really good rally and yet it's way off the 176 level at 63. So I'm going to be looking at stocks like this and saying, where would we want to be looking at it if we wanted to go long and what is the potential and is it possible for some stocks like this, not this one in particular, but in this category, the small cap category, are there stocks that are really ready for a decent rally regardless of what the big caps do? So that's going to be quite exciting. And folks, it's very easy to commence a workshop. Okay, we're gonna we're, we're deal. You're gonna deal with this workshop in 35 minutes, which is a beautiful thing. So come on over to our website at TFNN. You're gonna see it right under featured content. You hit that button. You're not only gonna get a, a great newsletter, you're gonna get a great education for an hour and a half. And as Basil says, the bottom line: markets keep changing, man. That's the bottom line. So we'll and see how this. Others... Is a very, this is a very functional one. Usually, I have a lot of charts, a lot of experience. This one is purely. I'm I'm looking at the charts looking at the stocks that we're interested in and saying these are the areas that we are looking at to buy or we're already in them and we want to add to them. So it's going to be very practical and very, uh, I think, hopefully beneficial. But, uh, it is going to be beneficial, period. Well, listen, man, you have a great one, safe one. We all look forward to the workshop at 4 o'clock, Basil. Thank you very much, Tom. Thank you. See you tomorrow. And so that's 4 o'clock, folks. Real easy. Come over to our website at TFN. You're going to see right under featured content. You hit that button. And remember, it's all everything's archived, too, folks. So, so the bottom line is if for some reason you can't make it, 4 to 5.30, guess what? It's going to be archived. You can go over it as many times as you like to really get your head wrapped around as to what Basil is thinking of this market at this particular point in time. We take a look at some of the higher volume equities out here today. You got uh, Tesla's off a couple bucks. You got uh, Marathon Digital off a couple bucks. We have uh, CrowdStrike doing a dead cat bounce. That's up eight bucks. Amazon's up four. 